Debbie Olakunbi was a mother of two and a successful caterer, but tragically, Debbie's lifeless body was just discovered in her bedroom. The scene was so gruesome that no one could ever imagine how she was killed. Although Debbie lived alone in her apartment, there were four other flats within this compound and no one knew when this attack was done. Debbie was a popular and successful caterer in the city of Akure. She started her career as a secretary in Lagos State, but things were tough for her. She eventually left her secretarial job and joined the banking industry, but nothing really changed. At the same time, she was having problems in her marriage. Unhappy and feeling like nothing was working, her marriage eventually collapsed. Devastated, she decided to leave Lagos and return to her hometown, Akure. When she settled in Akure, she started a catering business called Country Kitchen. Suddenly, everything began to turn around for her. She started getting clients and not just ordinary clients, but dignitaries, politicians and other prominent figures in the town. Debbie became successful and so worthy and her catering business became household name. Everything was going well until recently when she celebrated her 54th birthday in grand style. The celebration was massive and became talk of the community. Four days later, Debbie's lifeless body was found in her room. The cut on her head was visible, blood splattered on the wall and her bed sheets soaked in blood. It was absolutely horrific. The police were called and the homicide scene was secured. The weapon used in the attack was found right beside her bed. Nothing was taken from her room. Her gold and other valuable items were still intact. But what could have happened and who was responsible for her death? Police quickly identified persons of interest and began their investigation. According to the sources, the late Debbie had been involved with a chief in Akure and everyone knew about their relationship. Recently, a friendship had soured after chief allegedly borrowed money from Debbie but never returned it. This led to issue between them. However, even after this revelation, there is no evidence linking the chief to Debbie's death. Further investigation revealed that the money Debbie received on her birthday was missing. A personal assistant was calling for questioning and her statement didn't add up at all. Under further questioning, she cracked and revealed the shocking truth. After Debbie's birthday, the money she received became the target. The personal assistant along with the Debbie's driver plotted to kill their boss and steal the money. The driver who was now on the run provided the weapon a cutlass. After ensuring everything was quiet, they entered her bedroom and killed her. The revelation shocked everyone. The personal assistant remains in the police custody, while authorities are doing everything possible to apprehend the Debbie's driver. This is Suleiman Insight. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on TikTok 